All right, you guys, so this right here is the M18 fuel mower from Milwaukee. All right, and it is the long awaited, probably one of the most requested tools from the Milwaukee fans and people in the Milwaukee Team Red platform, and besides the track saw and a few other hand, few other tools. But I mean, it is a very, very much requested tool from the Milwaukee folks. Okay, all right, so quick specs. Uh, model number is 2776-20. It cut, it has a, a blade speed of 2800 RPMs. It can cut up to three quarters of an acre. It is IPX rated, although I probably wouldn't use it in a very wet, wet, wet condition. Um, it has a standard Milwaukee warranty, and right now you can only buy it as a kit. Okay, well actually you can only pre-order it as a kit. So right now you can pre-order as a kit, comes with two 12 volts, one rapid charger, the, obviously the mower, um, and it costs $8.99, all right? So, I mean, uh, I mean, typical Milwaukee stuff, right? Premium price, um, but like I said, you get two 12 volt batteries, so if you count each battery, costing roughly around 200 bucks, that's like $400 in batteries, so the tool itself costs roughly around $500-ish. Did I do the math wrong? 400 ish dollars. Okay. Um, so, I mean, like I said, pretty milky stuff. You get the, the tools warranty for, for five, five years or whatnot. So, anyways, like I said, it's got this pretty much all the same um, features that you would expect from a battery product a lot more of these days. It's got the little, it's got the little key here that you would plug in. All right. You plug in. Not sure if it's going to come out on, on camera or uh, not within screen, but, anyways. It's got a key you can plug in, all the safety features, but it's got the same Milwaukee Gen 1 curse that everybody talks about. All right, what is that? So the Milwaukee Gen 1 curse usually means there's something, one thing at least, that's pretty like critically bad about the tool or whatnot, right? So right now, this tool is only a two-in-one mower, okay? It can mulch and it can bag, okay? Um, so it doesn't do side discharge, which is usually helpful if you're cutting really, really tall grass. Right now it's mid-March and uh, the, the Bermuda grass just isn't very, very hot right now, or it's not very hot enough for the grass to be growing. So we're just doing a quick cut off the, off the top of the grass, okay? So um, can't really test it in really hard situations for you, but I can definitely tell you it does work really well. This one right here is not self-propelled. They, they did announce that they will release a self-propelled version. Uh, I'm assuming it's probably gonna cost a hundred bucks more or something like that. Um, but they did announce they are going to eventually release a, a, uh, a self-propelled version. So they did something they kind of said that they wouldn't do, which really says using two batteries or two batteries or changing battery platforms or whatever you want to call it. And they kind of changed a little bit or added another battery platform, MX Fuel Line. Most of you guys know that. But uh, most of you guys know almost every Milwaukee tool, M18 tool, only uses one battery. And they kind of did that, keeping that 18 volt platform, but just increasing the amp hours, push more current. There are a lot of things to be introduced there. Like, for instance, more current generally equals more torque with everything being the same. But I mean, with, with higher voltages, you can get more efficiency. Okay, in case you didn't know, that's kind of why all the transmission lines and stuff run at higher voltages and you don't have to push as much current. Anyways, long story aside, um, right now, I guess they did make it two, two, um, two M18 batteries and you drop two of them in. It, like I said, it comes with two 12 O's, two, well, I had eight O's and I've just kind of been using all of them to just kind of test it out. You do not want to use anything lower than a, a uh, I guess you don't really want to use anything lower than 6.0, but in the manual it says only recommends 8, 8, XC 8.0s or higher, okay? So right now, uh, I guess this is the high demand 9.0, but that one fits in there just fine, and I've been able to use that one just fine. So you just drop two batteries in there, um, and, and you'll see a little light up back here. You can't really see it, but I mean, it, then it will be really good to go, okay? Like I said, it is IPX rated, but I wouldn't really use it in any cold and or super wet environments it does have this this um, quick change height adjustment five position height adjustment in case you did need to do that it is fairly light it is a all metal deck so that is nice they didn't cheap out or whatnot it doesn't have rubberized wheels it's really like the hard plastic wheel you see on pretty much every lawnmower these days um, but I mean not sure people can complain about rubberized wheels or whatnot. It is fairly light and you can pick it up. Uh, I can I can pretty much carry it. It does fold, unlike the Makita one, um, this handle does fold down. 
the, uh, you know what I mean, the steel deck Makita one that doesn't fold down, but this one does, okay? So they did incorporate some of those features, but it's always missing something, but um, it does work really well, and I've used it a couple times. It just quick turns off the grass, and I would definitely recommend it if you're in the M18 platform, okay? Um, would I recommend it at the price? I don't know, that's a little bit hard to swallow because you're getting close up to that one grand range and you could really get a really, really nice Honda mower for that. Or if you spend just a little bit more, you could get like a really, I don't want to say cheap, but a lower end riding mower, right? So, I mean, you're kind of in that, in that premium range of, of, actually, you probably passed that premium range of gasoline power mowers, right? So, but you're getting a premium product from a premium company, okay? And like I said, if you're in the M18 platform, obviously it makes sense because you have all the batteries. And now with the M18 mower, it does complete their OPE lineup. So I think they have, now they have this mower, they have a, a few string trimmers and the quick lock system that does the edger, the chainsaw, the hedge trimmer. They have a hedge, or extend, extended pole and a chainsaw on the pole and then they have a hedge trimmer, they have a blower. That complete stuff. What else do they have? They do have a switch tank, backpack, outside sprayer. So they do have most of the stuff that you would need for OPE. So with this system and the two batteries, it does um, complete their their uh, OPE portfolio. So um, it's worked well for me. Um, I I don't know in any situation where I wouldn't really recommend this, but I hope this videos can help you guys out. Um, I know it's been a long awaited tool for, from, for um, all the Milwaukee fans, but like I said, it is a great tool and that's all I can really say about it. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, throw it in the comments below and we can chit chat or talk about it or whatever, but it seems like a great tool and I'm just glad that I was able to get one early release. So make sure you order it when it does come out for a pre-order and make sure you check the date of the video posting before you do that because you will find out a little secret. All right, guys. So hope this video helped you guys out and I'll see you guys next time. All right, guys, so just in case you didn't catch the little hint about checking a video posting date, this right here is actually a DeWalt 20 volt max mower in disguise. All right, so um, checking posting and date, it should be April 1st, I'm assuming, by the time this video gets posted. I'm not sure what that's really gonna be, um, but what we really did was the mower has been dipped um, in red, the Milwaukee red, okay? And these, it, the batter, the, the mower really does work, okay? Um, it does take two M18, actually two M18 batteries. The mower deck was dipped. All the pieces that are the DeWalt yellow has been dipped. The DeWalt emblem has been covered up by using a Milwaukee, I don't know, whatever people, uh, vinyl sticker. Um, and dipping this thing was not, too easy. You had to pretty much take all the little pieces off and plasti dip it. Um, and all the other pieces up there with the switcheroos and the buttons and things like that. But um, it does actually work, okay? And if you're wondering how does it actually work, is you buy these little um, Milwaukee adapters to DeWalt platform. You do have to buy two of them, okay? Um, and you drop them in just like that. And just like that, you can take an M18 battery and drop it in and it will work, okay? So earlier, I want to say it comes with two 12 volts. Obviously it doesn't because it's not a real tool. Um, it, it won't fit the 12 volts. You can fit the 9 O's. you can fit the 8 O's. I guess you can fit up to the 9 O's if you can fit that. So, um, but the XC 8.0, fits um, and it, it does actually work pretty well. I have used it to cut my grass, okay? Uh, or trim the top of the grass off. So it does work pretty fine. There's no real issue with that. This one is not self-propelled. I know DeWalt now has one that is self-propelled, um, but this was the first generation mower that they had and it's worked pretty well for us. It is like a belt driven. At why I did see that when I took it off. I thought it was a direct drive, but it is actually a belt. Um, belt driven. If you look at it and you take it apart, you'll kind of see what I mean. Um, but 
there's a little butt motor in here and it does work pretty well. Um, I had no issues with it. I had no issues with this setup. We've used it for years at the two, or for years at all the houses that we lived at, just mowing the grass. It's definitely, it was definitely an upgrade over the um, cobalt mower, the 40 volt cobalt mower that we had. I don't know how, but I mean, I guess it's the watt, so it generally works better than the cobalt stuff. Who knows? Anyways, fighting words. Um, it does work pretty well and we've used it and I said, hey, that'll be a good April Fool's video. All right, you guys, so I hope you guys had a good April Fool's day and this was a good video for you guys. Although it is a working system, it is not an actual Milwaukee mower. So have a good April Fool's day and we'll see you guys next time.